Vrindavana Gardens of Mysore is undeniably one of the best terrace gardens in the world, a most sightseeing place of a Mysore tour. Vrindavana Garden mesmerizes everyone. It is located about 12 km towards the northwest of Mysore city and 143 km from Bangalore. Vrindavana Gardens with its illuminated fountains, botanical park, extensive varieties of plants and fulfilled boating is place for everyone. Especially famous for its symmetric design and illuminated terrace gardens. Vrindavana Gardens was built by Sir Mirza Ismail, then Divan of Mysore State. He was the brain behind its modelling and conceptualization. across an area of more than 60 acres. This garden is led out in three terraces and ends in a horseshoe shape. The garden is maintained by Kaveri Irrigation Corporation, primarily a terrace garden. Brindavan Gardens have been built in the complex of KRS Dam. The creation of these gardens began in the year of 1927, when the Department of Horticulture started the work. It is said the work was completed in 1932. It was the idea of Sir Mirza Ismail, then the Divan of Mitro State, to beautify the area around Krishna Raja Sagar Dam situated in Sri Rangapatna Taluk of Mandya district. This dam named after Krishna Raja Udayar IV have been built over Kaveri River which is one of the prominent rivers of South India. Brindavan Gardens have been designed by seeking inspiration from Shalimar Gardens of Kashmir which have been created in the ancient Mughal style. Hence, it also radiates grandeur and beauty, compressing of wide array of fountain, terraces, water channels, lawns and flower beds, etc. Offering an entrance beauty dotted with innumerable fountains and capitative illumination, these terrace gardens are sure to allure every visitor. Brindavan gardens are divided into various parts. The main gate area, South Brindavan, North Brindavan, Children's Garden. The main gate area is inspired by the Indian Gate of New Delhi presenting an admirable imposed structure. On both the sides of the main gate, there is Rose Garden. 
The magnificent structure of main gate with the beauty of rose garden presents a perfect entrance to the garden. The lawns, flower beds, hedgerows has also been maintained stunningly. The area near the Kaveri statue is the South Vrindavan. The ground in front of the statue is Kaveri Amma Circle, which boosts the magnificent hue water fountains. Even terraced garden of differing styles can be spotted from here. On the slopes of terrace, you can see bougainvillea and alamanda plants, while the lawn in the terrace garden has flower beds, patterned hedges, various fountains and dwarf plants can be found on terrace garden. In the night, these fountains are illuminated. South Brindavan also has a grass house that consists of various ornamental plants which are used in garden. These plants are also available for sale. Just beside the South Vrindavan, there is Children's Park, which is located towards the right. The park is an apt place for kids to play and enjoy. With its lights, concrete animals, birds, etc. and various other items. A visit to Vrindavan Gardens becomes even more enjoyable with the boat ride. As there is river Kaveri between North Vrindavan and South Vrindavan, facilities for boating are offered by the Karnataka State Tourism Development Corporation. Boating on the serene waters of the river with the entrancing beauty of Vrindavan Gardens around you is sure to make a Mysore trip memorable. Another popular feature of Brindavan Gardens are the musical fountains. The fountains are maintained by the water pressure from the dam and are operated through a controller. The musical fountain shows presents a harmonized water dance accompanied by colorful lights and music. For visitors, a rain shelter and gallery has been built. This show organized at a North Brindavan. The illumination timings at Vrindavan Gardens is from morning 6 to evening 8. Lodging and boarding facilities are offered at the hotels and inspection bungalow. In the area around KRS Dam along with Vrindavan Gardens, departments of horticulture maintains few other gardens as well, such as Government Fruit Orchard which is spread over an area of 75 acres, Nagavin Horticulture Farm over 30 acres of area, and 5 acres of Chandravana Horticulture Farm. Boating on the serene waters of the river with the entrancing beauty of Vrindavan Gardens around you is sure to make a Mysore trip memorable. <laughs> <laughs>